okay so in this video we are going to create this looping loading animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and don't forget to hit that like button also so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will name it as Main Animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 10 seconds long. And simply hit OK. Then go to Choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Safe Action. Then we are going to create one ellipse. And for the color, I'm going to choose black color initially, and we will change it later. And simply hit OK. And by holding Shift, I'm going to create one ellipse like this. Then select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Then press B for Selection tool and by holding Shift, I am going to move this over here. Then press P for Position, select this, right click and choose Separate Dimensions. Now let's for proper statistics, I am going to choose X position 500 and Y position also 500. So it would be easy for us to animate and calculate let's select this hit ctrl d press p again and for this time x position i am going to choose plus 200 so we will get this over here select this hit ctrl d press p in x what we are going to do simply plus 200 one again select this hit ctrl d press p select this go over here and again press plus 200 select this hit ctrl d press p select this go ahead and again press 200 select this hit ctrl d press p again select this and press 200 okay so now we will get something like this now after that we will create select all of them and let's create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y now zoom in a little bit now let's start to animate this one by one now first of all we will start with this lower one so let's change the color of this one to yellow so it would be easy to understand that we are going to animate this let's go to around 20 frames now at this point what i'm gonna do i'll select this one which is over here i'll copy those keyframe i'll select this i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v sorry we will select this we will hit ctrl c we will select this keyframes and we will hit ctrl v so now what will happen that it will come over here now at 10 frames what i'm gonna do i'll select this and i'm going to change the y position of this one to let's say 200 oh, i think 200 is too much so let's make it 300 or let's say 350 i think 350 should be good so we will get something like this now let's select this y position hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit select this graphs let's select this middle one hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay so we will get something like this now at this point what we are gonna do i'll select this one and i'll select this keyframes and i'll move them over here now we will go 20 frame forward so for this 20 frames forward which means around 1.10 frames now at this point what i'm gonna do i'll select this one uh, i'll select this one i'll copy these keyframes I'll hit Ctrl C, I'll select this and I hit Ctrl V. So now what will happen that this one is gonna come over here and this one gonna come over here. To make it simplify, let's do one thing. Let's select this and change the color of this one now only. So I'm going to choose this color for this. Let's select this and we will choose different color for this. For this I'm going to choose let's say somewhere around like this. and for the last let's choose this color again okay so now it would be easy for us to understand that which circle is which so this is our first circle which is gonna come over here then this circle should come over here so that's why at 1.10 frames what i did i'll still simply copy this keyframe and i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl v like that 
now in middle of that which means at one second what i'm gonna do i'll select this and i'm gonna move this downwards like this okay so let's make it 650 okay and again we will select those y position keyframes we will hit f9 we will go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here this handle over here this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so what will happen if you see this animation i'll get something like this now at this point we need to start animate this blue one so i'll select those initial keyframes and i'll move this over here now again we will go 10 frame forwards 50, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 so which means we need to go over here and now we will select those keyframes of this layer which is this one hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v like this and this time in middle of that what we are gonna do over here we don't want this y keyframe so i'll simply delete those but instead of that i'll select this y keyframes i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl v so i'll get this now over here we need to select this layer i'll select this and i'll move this over here okay then we'll go 20 frame forward which means over here and i'll select those keyframe i'll hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v so we'll get something like that and in middle of that again we don't need those y keyframes but instead of that i'm going to select this y keyframes one layer after like this i'll hit ctrl c let's select this and hit ctrl v so if you see this cycle will look like this okay then again at this point i'll select this let's move this over here go 20 frame forwards which means around over here i'll select this hit ctrl c ctrl v sorry uh, hit ctrl c select this layer and hit ctrl v as i said we don't need dice y layer uh, keyframes i'll select this y keyframe hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v so if i see i'll get something like this okay then at last what we need to do i'll select those keyframes and this time i'm going to move this over here again i'll select this y keyframes i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this hit ctrl v go to last and as i as we guys know that we are only adding 200 uh, units so let's add 200 in it also so we will get something like this so if we see this animation we will get something like this and our animation major animation portion is done now so as you guys know that uh, this is my last keyframe so let's hit n right click and trim comp to work area or instead of that we don't need to do that simply hit u select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as my main animation and hit ok then go inside this go to the start right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null now we will select this null and we will press p for position and we will create one keyframe now i'll press ctrl r to bring my ruler and i'll create one edge and this edge should touch the edge of this ball over here and now we need to go to our last keyframe hit u so we can see that which is over here and because we are all parent with this null object so select this null object and by holding shift move this over here and make sure that this red ball should i mean pink ball should touch this edge okay like that and go to the main animation and hold alt close bracket like this so this is gonna be my last position or instead of that simply go inside that simply hit n right click trim comp to work area okay so we have this much composition only then after that select this right click go to the time and time enable uh, go to the time enable remapping like this so we will get this kind of keyframe over here so now 
uh, obviously we'll get something weird so let's go not at this keyframe but one keyframe over here and we will create one keyframe and we will delete this keyframe now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so what will happen that we will get this animation like this then this animation will repeat itself now if you want then you can simply right click go to the time time stretch you can change the uh, time stretch also let's say up to around 50 so uh, your animation will look a little bit faster and you can increase the duration right now i'm going to choose time stretch up to 80 percent so our animation will look like this now press s for scaling option like this to, i want this scale should be a little and this should be properly in the middle like this okay then go to the effect and presets panel and search for eco effect and double click to apply and eco operator i'm going to choose maximum number of echoes let's choose 20 and eco time in seconds all we need to do in this reading we need to remove the screen and simply hit zero over there so uh, point zero zero point zero zero three three and whatever number after that okay so now let's make this quarter resolution because we are applying eco effect so it will take a little bit time to load so if you see this animation we will get this kind of animation continuously like in the form of loop and then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this background over here and you can lock this here. so yep this is gonna be my final output like this and this is continuously in the form of loop so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned